Okay, here, so check it out up front. If you just installed some programs, particularly programs like Adobe, Dreamweaver, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, any of the Adobe suite that, that do consume a lot of resources on your machine, you may find that it takes a while for these to open. One of the things you can do is adjust what's running on your computer when it starts by using a utility called msconfig, and this is specific to Windows. On a Mac, it just runs quickly and, and you're fine. Um, so if you go to your taskbar, for example, and you don't see a ton of stuff running here, okay, you're probably in better shape than most people. But my guess is that a lot of you have a lot of stuff lined up in your taskbar. You probably still have Windows Messenger starting with your computer, even though you never use it anymore. Here's how you can check that stuff out. Windows XP or newer, you simply go into the search box and type msconfig. If it's an older version of Windows than that, you can go to the run command and type msconfig. So msconfig is what you put in, you hit enter, <coughs> excuse me. It pulls up a utility that looks like this. You can go in here and turn some stuff off, but I would advise against it because you might turn stuff off that you need. Just stick to the startup menu for right now. I've got some stuff in here I don't really need on, so you get to see me do this with you. In general, you, you, you can't turn everything off on a lot of computers, but you can turn most things off. If you see something that starts with an Intel or an AMD and that's your chip running, like this Intel interface, I usually leave that on. I usually leave this on. That has to do with my mouse on my laptop. Uh, PC audio I could leave on. The rest of this stuff, like Acrobat doesn't need to be running, CX, CX, uh, CS6 Service Manager, anything Adobe doesn't need to run when your computer starts. That's my virus protection, so I'm going to leave that on. Adobe Updater, Acrobat Tray, QuickTime. I don't even know what that is. I'll just turn it off. Well, this is where it's a little bit arbitrary. You're going to go to a list here, and you're going to see a bunch of stuff, and you're going to have to decide which things you know, you, you're sure should be running or should not be running, OK? No, not most of it doesn't need to be running. I'm actually leaving quite a few things running simply because I teach here and I, I'm using a laptop. I don't want to turn off my security alert and I want anything Intel still running and I'm just not sure about this other stuff, so I'm going to leave it on. But anything that's not Microsoft or Intel and anything that doesn't have to do with stuff that you know you're not automatically using every time you turn on the computer. I'm not using Acrobat every time I turn on my computer. So if I don't have it running in startup, it just means it's going to take a little bit longer to run when I go to run it later, but it won't take up resources by setting it up to run when I start my computer. And you will find the first time you do this and you turn off a bunch of this stuff, see iTunes, QuickTime, um, all this Adobe stuff, Apple Push, Microsoft Office. You want Windows running, but you don't need Office running when you start your computer. So I have this all turned off. I hit Apply, okay, and then I hit OK. And it says, do you want to restart? I, eventually, I'll need to restart for those things to take effect. When I do restart, another new message will come up here that says, you've, you've started your computer with selective startup. Is this OK? And you can choose to not show this message again. OK, and then you're set. You've, you've sped up your computer just by not running so much stuff in msconfig. Now, what's also very important is virus protection software. And a lot of you may have a lot of spyware and other various types of uh, bot programs running in the background of your PC and if you don't have good virus protection software the best thing going right now is Microsoft Security Essentials. If you go online and do a Google search for it I would download it from a Microsoft safe site but it, AVG free used to be like the good thing going for free. Microsoft Security Essentials is the best free one now. So there's a site right here free antivirus for Windows it works quite well. It works just as well as Norton and McAfee, except it doesn't slow your computer down enormously. So that's another good thing you can do. So now that we're using this application on a regular basis, Dreamweaver, I just wanted to show you guys a couple things you can do to speed up your system. Um, and that's it. That's all I wanted to show you.